Okay, so in this problem we're told Roger sees water balloons fall past his window. He notices that each balloon strikes the sidewalk 0.83 seconds after passing his window. Roger's room is on the third floor, 15 meters above the sidewalk. A. How fast are the balloons traveling when they pass Roger's window? B. Assuming the balloons are released from rest, from what floor are they being released? Each floor of the dorm is 5 meters high. So uh, the first thing we want to do is actually draw what's going on. So they tell us that, uh, right, so there's going to be water balloons being dropped from above Roger. So imagine this right here is Roger's window, right? And so it's going to fall. And we know they pass by his window, which is 15 meters above the sidewalk. So this is your sidewalk. And the time that it's going to take from this point of the window to the ground is 0.83 seconds. And so uh, I think the easiest way to do this is just to start with the first part, which is asking us to find how fast are the balloons traveling when they pass by uh, Roger's window. So when they say pass, they're basically meaning the bottom of his window here. So right when they pass by. So we're trying to find the velocity here. And so the way we're going to do this is by doing a kinematics equation. So the way I always start those off is by writing my given and I choose my interval. So in this case, the interval is going to be from here uh, to here. And you'll see why we're choosing this in a second. But imagine it's going to fall here. So from here all the way down to there. Um, and so I write my given and I'm going to write out all the kinematic variables uh, that I know. So in this case, we have uh, delta y. So I'm going to imagine we're working along the y here. So this is your y-axis. So we have delta y, which is just the change in the position. We have the initial velocity, the final velocity, acceleration, and time. So uh, these are your five main kinematic variables. And what we're trying to find is the velocity at this point, right? The velocity as it passes by the window, or essentially in this interval here, it's the initial velocity. Since this is our beginning, it's just the initial velocity. So we can say v sub 0 equals question mark, because uh, that's what we're trying to find. And let's see what we know through this interval. So first, starting with delta y, uh, we can imagine it starts here, right? This is where it starts. And generally, what you say where it starts is 0, and it's going to go 15 meters down. So if you imagine it like a graph, uh, it's going to go down to minus 15. So its change in y would go from 0 uh, to minus 15. So its change is going to be uh, negative 15 meters, right? Since it goes down 15 meters, that's how much it's changing. But it's negative because it goes downwards. Um, and then V is the velocity at the end. Uh, we don't know that. So this is the velocity right before it hits the bottom. We don't know that value. So we'll just cross it out there. Um, acceleration is just going to be the acceleration due to gravity. 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. Uh, but keep in mind it's going to be negative. Uh, since we use a negative here for downwards, we also have to use a negative uh, for the acceleration. right? So the negative, uh, this is the acceleration due to gravity. It's just a constant. And uh, it's negative because it pulls downwards. Uh, and then time, how long does it take to fall from here to there? Well, they tell us that value. It's 0.83 seconds. And so uh, if you look here, we have three kinematic variables. And we're solving for one. And you need three variables in order to solve uh, for another variable. So all we have to do is just solve for v sub 0. Uh, but first, we have to pick our kinematic equation. So which one are we going to use? Um, so hopefully you have your kinematic equations out in front of you. Uh, the one I'm going to use is this one right here. Delta y equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. So uh, the reason we're using this one is because I know the initial velocity, or sorry, we're solving for the initial velocity. I know delta y, I know t, and I know a. So I have every other variable except for that one, so I can solve for it. Um, but yeah, this is probably the most common kinematic equation too, by the way. So you should have this memorized. But if not, uh, you can just look it up. Um, and so now we just got to plug in. So our change in y was minus 15. We have the initial velocity, which is what we're solving for, times t, which is 0.83, plus 1 half times a. So the acceleration is uh, minus 9.8. Sorry about that. Multiplying by t squared, 0.83. So 0.83 squared. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, now what we want to do is just simplify and solve for v sub 0. So this is going to be, let me figure out what this is. So uh, it's going to be 0.5 times minus 9.8 times 0.83 squared. Yeah, correct. Which is 
This is going to be minus 3.37561. Adding it to the other side, right? We're just solving for V sub 0. 37561. Um, and you'll get minus 11 point something. You'll get that. And then 0.83 times V sub 0. Just divide by 0.83. And uh, yeah, you're going to get V sub 0 is negative 14.00. So basically just uh, minus 14 meters per second. Keep in mind the negative is just indicating the direction. So it's really uh, equal to 14 meters per second, right? Because that's the units of velocity. And then keep in mind it's downwards. So you can write that however you'd like. But when they ask uh, how fast is it traveling, 14 meters per second, uh, and then obviously it's downwards because it's going to the ground. So uh, this is your answer to A. Um, yeah, so that's A. Moving on to B. B is asking, assuming the balloons are being released from rest, from what floor are they being released? So uh, they also tell us each dorm floor is five meters high. So if we split this up, right, imagine this is one floor, this is another floor, something like this. We're trying to figure out what floor it's released from. We don't know. Um, but we know it's going to be released from rest. So let's imagine it's here. So we know the initial velocity here is zero. And I'm going to have to pick an interval to solve for using kinematics. So write out my given again, and then I'm going to write out all the variables. But keep in mind we're choosing a different interval because we're solving for a different value. So uh, no matter what, the uh, acceleration is going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So I know that. And I need two other kinematic variables to solve for what we're trying to find. So uh, keep in mind what we're trying to find is delta y. Because if I can find the change in its position, that's going to give us the distance it travels, and we'll be able to know what floor it's on um, based off that. So this is what we're finding. And so I either need the time it takes, the initial velocity, uh, right? So I'm going to need to know these. Um, and the way we're going to do it is, or at least I'm going to do it, is I know uh, the final or the initial velocity is 0. So actually, let me write that in. The initial velocity is zero. And then the point I'm going to pick where it ends is right here. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because I know the velocity right here. We just found it. It's 14 meters per second. And if I choose that, I have three variables. So the interval I'm choosing is from here, wherever it starts, to here. And so keep in mind, this is 15 meters above. So whatever value we get is going to be on top of that. So this is our delta y here. And then we'll just add the two to get how tall it is. And then we know how much each floor is, uh, which will allow us to solve for how many floors. Um, we don't know the time, but we don't need it. Um, and then, yeah, so we just want to use a kinematic equation to solve for delta y now using these variables, right? Because a is constant or just a value. Uh, and then keep in mind the velocity uh, is also actually going to be negative. I know I wrote it positive, or I just wrote it positive. That was a mistake. Keep in mind it's negative uh, because I chose the acceleration to be negative. Or you can just choose them uh, both to be positive. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and write it. So the equation I'm going to use is this one right here. So v squared equals v sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta y. The, one I, uh, the reason I'm using this one is because uh, we have initial velocity right here. We have final and we have a, so we can solve for delta y. Uh, plugging it in, we have minus 14 squared. So the negative sign actually doesn't make a difference. Uh, let me plug it in. So minus, or just 14 squared, I guess, is 196. So this is actually 196 is equal to, uh, the initial velocity is 0. So 0 squared is still 0. We have 2 times a, which is minus 9.8, times delta y. So the only thing that actually changes by making this negative is making delta y negative. So just keep that in mind. So 2 times minus 9.8. We have 196 divided by 2 times 9.8. And you'll get delta y is 10, or in this case, minus 10. So keep in mind, what this means is uh, our change in y for this interval was minus 10 meters. So it just means we went down 10 meters instead of up, since I chose down to be negative. Uh, so we know this distance right here, from the point here to there, is uh, 10 meters. So we know that it's going to be 15 meters to here, and then 10 meters to there. So the total height uh, from the bottom, at least, is 10 plus 25. 
So you could say this is h. So h equals 10 plus 25, or sorry, 10 plus 15. I, I think I said 10 plus 25 there. That's my mistake. Um, but yeah, it's a total of 25, 10 plus 15. So we know the total height from the sidewalk is 25 meters. Uh, and then they want us to find what floor it's being released. But we know each floor is 5 meters. So you can just divide by 5, giving you a total of 5 floors. right? Because if it's total 25 and then each of them are 5, you just divide and you'll get 5 floors. So um, the floor that it's going to be released on is the 5th floor, since it's 5 floors high. Uh, but yeah, so your answer to this problem is going to go ahead and be 5 floors. That's what they're looking for. Uh, for B at least. So this right here was your B, and then your A was 14 meters per second. So hopefully this made sense. All we did was use uh, two kinematic equations, and then just split them up based on uh, what we needed to solve for and what they gave us. Uh, but yeah, so these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this uh, video helpful.